here's eight quick things you need to keep in mind when considering chickens in Edmond. Number one, in most cases, you need to get a permit. $25 lifetime permit, you must get a proof, give the city proof of completion of a course regarding proper care and raising of chickens. Chickens are fairly easy to care for, but they aren't normal pets, and there's certain things you need to know, um, and they wanna make sure you know how to care for them. Number two, if you have 0.6 acres or less, Get your permit and chicks now because there's a limit to how many permits they'll issue for that size of lot each year. Uh, number three, as you probably guessed, your lot size determines how many chickens you're allowed to have. Um, right around a quarter acre or less, you're allowed to have two to four chickens and up to five acres, um, up to uh, 30 laying hens. There's several different increments in there for different sizes of lots. But if you have five acres or more, you don't need a permit. Number four, there are requirements for the size of your coop and run based on how many birds you have. Um, also, there's specifications about where on your property they can be kept and uh, screening for neighbors. Basically, you have to keep them in the back of your property. You can't keep them in the front yard and you have to keep them five feet away from property lines and screened from neighbors. Number five, you aren't allowed to have roosters. Only laying hens are allowed with permits, so when you get your chicks from tractor supply or a hatchery, make sure they are sexed and not a uh, straight run group, which means they're both male and female, they haven't been sexed. Uh, roosters are noisy and they're considered a nuisance because of that. Uh, number six, this probably isn't a concern for most people, but you aren't allowed to slaughter your chickens. So make sure you get a production breed and not a meat bird. There's a difference in breeds um, some pr produce lots of eggs, some are large and are good for the meat, so pay attention to that. Number seven, if you have a permit and you are moving or you're moving to a property that currently has chickens, the permit doesn't transfer with the property, so you'll need to get a new permit. And last, number eight, your HOA restrictions trump this ordinance. So, if your HOA says no chickens, you can't have chickens, there's no getting around that. All right, those are some things you need to keep in mind if you want to have chickens in Edmond. So get out there, guys, get your permit. And if you're thinking about moving to a place where you can uh, have chickens, let me know. I can definitely help you out with that.